I guess not. Oh, yeah, there's one. Might be a couple more dudes right around here that we need to watch out for. Oh, that's awesome. Shotgun shells? Yeah, there we go. These are so valuable in here. They do so much work on these little guys that do a lot of damage to us, but are easy to kill. Go ahead and try and get as much armor as we can here as well. Wonder if we can get in there and grab all that weaponry and stuff. That'd be nice. Doesn't look like it's possible from right here, but maybe when we jump down. You know a throwing knife? All right, guess we're gonna guess we're gonna pistol him. Feel bad for that guy a little bit. A little bit. Not a lot. Is there anyone else in here that we can murder from above? I don't think so. Okay. Oh god, this is this part. overcharge our health as well. Oh, this, this part is going to take very intense concentration, so. Or not, if we can just bounce these things all over the room. That'd be ideal. Stop shooting at me, you fool! There should be quite a few more people in here. Um, I think they're all upstairs, maybe. Go ahead and recharge us while we're here. Oh, wait, did we kill everyone? No. There's no way we killed everyone that fast. We did! Wow. It's like we're better at this game since we have already played through it once. Or something like that. I say that as I'm probably about to die. I knew it. We didn't kill everyone in there. Yep. <laughs> I think we had to start that whole area over again as well. Oh!
I think we can. I thought we could maybe shoot them through those little walls, but I don't think we can. They just never stop coming. Machine, there he, there he is. There he, okay. I'm gonna stay away from the guy with the shotgun. So low on health. Oh god. <sighs> oh. Wow. Apparently, who knew? <laughs> We can skip killing that last guy by just activating this cutscene. I will take it, I will take it, I will take it. Bags in the river. <laughs> Keep the channel open, Blast. Oh, Jesus. I will say it again, this difficulty is no joke. You know what you have here, Captain Blaskowitz? This is the Eva's hammer, the crown jewel of the Nazi U boat fleet. There's a nuclear cannon on this boat. Correction. Our nuclear cannon. Our nuclear cannon. And some really nifty weapons that we're gonna find underwater when this dude lets us into his safe house. on this here magnificent fucking U-boat, Captain. I'll give him that. Took the decryption keys to the nuclear cannon to his grave. It won't fire? Not the nuclear warheads, no. There I was, pining to ram a big proper atom bomb down Death's Head's throat. That would have been really convenient. Let's find decryption keys. The actual physical nuclear decryption keys are not kept on planet Earth. They're stored in the Nazi lunar base. Captains are required to learn them by heart. With Sounds like we're going to the moon, chat. More secure facility than Nazis have is where they do all their top secret research these days. What's your point? Uh, Caroline and Anya are working on a bucket HQ. In the lach, we are here. We are here. Look how low health we are. From, <laughs> from freaking barely making it out of that submarine. Oh, let's go the other way. Yeah. I really do deeply enjoy the story to this game. Step inside. Okay. Mr. Blaskovich, please take us inside. It's always up to me to press the button. Probably Dude, trapped. How do you kindle a say? Let's get the show on the road. Do not die. Thank you for the advice, Eakin. I'm gonna try my hardest. 
wanted to eat. You don't die either. How about that? But things happen fast. Our gatekeepers were murdered and then some were exiled. Some succeeded. Yeah, we, we had begun to transfer much knowledge to the governments who fought the Nazis and there was hope. We're only like a mile under the ocean. Hope, till the Nazis dropped the atom bombs. Well, there was no hope there. I, I remember when the Das Juchet would gather in places like this, it was brimming with life and <clears throat> the channels of nature was open. But now, now, I think we may be the last to visit. Oh, here oh that's are. sad. He, he thinks he might be one of the last Dayukshed around, or whatever, however you pronounce that. Blah, 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 giant underwater mechanisms that will probably kill us. I did three times today in total, sorry. No! Ethan, you've let us down. <laughs> I guess we can forgive you just this once. Well, that's foreboding. He's like, you're perfectly safe. I'm gonna go in, and then his con his mic cuts off. Yeah, Fergus is like, you should go next. <laughs> I don't want to die. So he stole their prize submarine, and now we're in a, an ancient technological. Storehouse of Annie. Thanks for the follow. And Phoebe and Juliana. Appreciate it, guys. Jesus Christ! What the hell is this thing? This is the secret vault out there. Now, first, we need to activate magnetic fields and create... This is kind of weird. Luckily, I have the perfect the weapon. machine here, it controls the electromagnetic field. To, uh... Yes. Access this ancient, uh... Okay, are you ready, English? Storehouse. One, two, three, go! Here's something is broken. The whole is a piece for me? Appears something's broken. Oh, yes, Alright, let's charge them then. Oh, actually we have to wait until he tells us to, I think. Hello? There. This is Das Yuchut Prism to make your laser beam attuned to the proper frequency. There we go. Now he can charge them. Magnetic coils. You see them? It's up there. Make a ladder. I will work to get this thing. Oh, we can charge them off of this. Nice, that's really helpful. Oh, interesting. We can actually bounce it all the way up, which is what we just did there. Yay! <laughs> we did it, chat. And we didn't die. <laughs> I'm a doer! A seven foot tall Adonis doer. Oh, set. He's such a cute genius old man. And now we ascend. Take us up, Shimshon. It's always up to me, Shimshon, to press the button. It's kind of nice having Fergus here this time, though. He's a lot less whiny than Wyatt. Cool. All right, so now in order to get some goodies, I think it's an upgrade to this. We have to mash these in in the correct order. I think I remember the correct order. There's something behind this that opens up. There's the key to the suit. Okay, so I think it's this one first. Anything that is useful to you, you may take. Just remember. Then it's this one. Maybe. Can he do it? Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, then I think it's. 
Then I think it's this one. Oh. Yeah, and then this one. Twelve hundred IQ right here, guys. <laughs> I think this is the last one. All right, which should open this up. And Fergus is in the background, like rambling about how amazing what everything he's done is. All right, and this is an upgrade. Which I don't really know. I don't really know what this upgrade does. Portable react. Oh, this lets it recharge, which is really nice, because then I don't have to re like worry about charging it too much. This is one of my favorite things about the whole game. You stick this little ball into this uh, machine, and then you get an Iron Man suit that allows Caroline to walk. <laughs> He's leaving for the Nazi lunar base tonight to oversee the launch of the new Super Soldat. He intercepts a troop transport train, locates a chief research scientist, steals his identity, and use it to permit Blaskovich to take his seat on the lunar shuttle. Once you're the lunar base, you need to find the nuclear decryption keys and bring them back to Earth. So now they're planning for me to go to the moon. Nazi troop transport train. Best side will be the Gibraltar Bridge. Okay, yeah, okay, but how? Set, any ideas? We can use this one. This is... Very, very powerful. In English, you couldn't call it. And it starts levitating. It's a spindly torque. Excellent. Leave right away. That third train is en route. Fuck me. I know what you're thinking, Blasco. No chance. I'm keeping this thing. You give that to Caroline. That thing, that suit is so badass. What's even more badass is what the spindly twirly thing that actually does. Watch this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I need to shove it out. No! This? This will stop everything. Anything. He's like, holy shit, I had absolutely no idea that it was going to do that. The crazy American. See that railway wagon Mach number six dangling over the edge like a bundled up horse's head on a broken neck. Says London Nautica on it. That's head's chief research scientist should be inside. I'll drop you off at the nearest safe spot. You head for that nautical wagon, right? Heck yeah. Alright, let's do it. Go on, Blasco. Go on out there. <laughs> I failed that jump okay, once last time. It was very embarrassing. Head towards the dangling nautical railway wagon. I'll look for a safe drop also, in this game, apparently they really like dropping giant rocks on people. That's the second one that they, that they do. It just squish, squashes them. Alright, Laskovich. Find the Nazi with a white uniform and steal his identification pin. Alright, let's see what collectibles we missed. Whoa, quite a lot. I actually don't know if we're going to try and get all these. If we find the map, maybe we will, but otherwise we probably won't. That's your ticket to the Lunar base. He will be in one of the train cars there. This is actually one of my favorite level designs. It's really quite beautiful in kind of a destructive way. Really interesting. And you get to, you know, you're like floating in the air a lot of time, like up up above all of this just like destroyed bridge. Got a throwing knife that probably won't be super useful, but Oh, I, we also get the rocket launcher, which is also one of my favorite upgrades. Okay, let's make sure we're not missing anything up here. Is I don't think we have the map to this area yet. Some armor. Oh, Jesus, what was that? Shotgun shells.
Let's just, uh, let's go ahead and destroy this before we go up to it, because then it won't murder us as we're walking through, accidentally getting hit by it. There's just a car chilling on top of the bridge. Woo! Excuse me, sir. I have one of those, too. Maybe we killed him? Nope. Now we killed him. Health. Uh, we're just going to be running through all these, making sure we're not missing any little things. Like, really obvious collectibles. Some of the, some of them are going to be really hidden in, like, these little niches that we'll never find. We'll probably just leave those. Um, unless we get a map that allows us to find them. But yeah, if there's something really obvious, we'll... Oh. Huh. Head to the spindly torque. I wonder if we can cut through this wire. Oh, we can. Huh. Who would have thought? Transforming Sahara. Okay, so th this one is basically about them terraforming and trying to ter um, terraform the moon and Mars as well. Kind of interesting. Look at that. This is so pretty. Such a pretty level. Kind of terrifying too as well, but... Just gonna make sure we're not missing any upgrades, stuff like that. Is that... Oh, that's shotgun shells. Hmm, maybe, maybe we'll jump down there and grab that real quick. Might as well. And then try and jump up this again. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's so hard to jump up this, this one little spot because your head's jammed in and it kind of rebounds you off the side. There we go. I kind of feel bad killing these guys, but also I don't really feel bad killing them because they're awful people. You can actually get over here and there were some collectibles last time and we grabbed them, so I think we're going to try that again. Stupid way to die. When I said try that again, I mean fail utterly on the jump. <laughs> and then load the save and go back to that spot and then jump over it again. That was entirely, entirely intentional. There we go. <laughs> really quite an easy jump, actually. Oh, nice. Uh, more... Oh, marksman shells, which we don't we don't have a marksman... Uh, gun yet, but I think we might find it over here. Maybe? Oh, we almost fell off. Yeah, there was a trophy, hit, like, right, right around here somewhere, but obviously we've already collected that one, so... 